The periodic trends are essential for knowing the characteristics of an atom in the periodic table. Going over this image, we can recognize a couple of the periodic trends already. The first one is going to be atomic radius. The atomic radius of an atom increases the bottom, the more bottom left you go to an atom. The, the metal-like characteristics also increase this way, while the non-metal characteristics increase in the opposite direction. Another thing is that you can find the amount of valence electrons of an atom just by just by counting out the squares from left to right. That is, if you skip over the transition metals. You can also find the charge of an atom by going from left to right too. Starting on the left is 1, 2, then skipping over the transition metals is plus 3, then plus 4. Then you get to negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, then the charge of 0. So, if we follow this um, guide, we can see that francium, which is at the bottom left, has a larger atomic radius than boron, which is near the top right. Conversely, boron has a greater electron affinity than francium. Let's look at some other examples. If we look at the guide, we can see that lithium has more metal-like characteristics than sulfur because lithium is more to the left of the periodic table than sulfur is. However, sulfur also has a greater ionization energy. As you can see, some things increase proportionally to how other things decrease. Like, you cannot have the biggest atomic radius in the periodic table while having the biggest electron affinity. And also, the atomic radius increases where the ionization energy decreases. Thanks for watching.